grab a pen and paper because this lesson is going to be pretty intense. Lots of awesome tricks that you can do using the mouse and control, shift and alt keys. There are some basic actions like holding control while moving an event in order to temporarily deactivate the snap option, holding alt to duplicate, and holding control or shift to do multiple choices. But these are pretty basics and almost everybody know them, hopefully. What if I told you you can do a lot more with the combination of the control, alt and the shift? In order to remember and implement all of them perfectly, go to the edit, preferences, and under editing, go to the tool modifiers. Here you can find a list of all the different categories and actions you can do within these categories. If we go to controls, for example, it shows here that control can reset any value to its default. If we close the window, for example, and go to the, let's say this track, hold control and click on the volume, it resets to its default, zero. This action works with the majority of inserts and effects. Let's go back to the tool modifiers and in the drag and drop, we can see the control and alt, which I talked about. And to be honest, I'm not sure exactly what this option does. It works exactly the same as alt. Next in the erase tool, you can switch to the eraser. And if you're holding alt, it will delete after and not including the one you're pressing on. This is extremely time-saving if you're deleting stuff in a specific track or even inside the edit screen of a MIDI track. But let's say that I have these drums, for example, and I want to delete just the kick. I can hold shift, double click, and all the notes ahead and including the one I pressed on will be highlighted, which will allow me to shift them or delete. While using the eraser with the alt will delete all the information after the note you're clicking on. So if I want to erase lots of stuff, I can double click and delete them and inside the MIDI track use the eraser. Both ways work perfectly. Next trick is the glue. If you're selecting the glue in the main screen and holding Alt, clicking on an event will glue all the events afterwards, which will save you the hassle of selecting all the events and glue them together. Next one is the info line, which does pretty much what we had in the beginning, holding control and pressing on a value will change it back to its default. But in cases you're selecting several events, let's say this audio part, for example, which has different volumes for each event, holding control will set all of them to zero. Next is the range tool. I'll select it from the main screen highlight a part I want to change, delete, move, or whatever. And if I'm holding control, I can stretch it from the right or the left sides. This is what happens without the control. It just resets. And if I'm holding control and pressing on any other track, it applies the same range to them as well. You can hold control and shift in order to select all the tracks together. In the select tool, it's a little less obvious than the rest of them but I can show exactly what they meant here. The first one, edit velocity, works by going into the edit screen of a MIDI event, hold down control and shift on one or more notes and drag the mouse up or down to change the velocity. The next one, set position, is probably the most useful tool that almost no one knows about. And by holding alt and shift, no matter where you are on the screen and clicking, you get your cursor to stand exactly where you are with your mouse. So instead of going up to the ruler and moving it or pressing on the plus or minus to move the cursor around, this method is so much better. Next one is the slip event. Let's take this audio file for example and I'll cut it somewhere over here. Now if I'm holding control and alt, I can move the content that is still within the limits of this audio file. It also works with MIDI. And split event is pretty easy. Just hold Alt and press on anything in order to split it. Same goes if you want to create something new. Next is the size object, which relates to changing the size of events by pressing on the square in the bottom right and left of the events. I'm not sure what the common position does, so I would leave it alone. But let's start with the control, which disables the snap the Alt that multiplies the events. Even though you can do exactly the same by holding the square in the middle and drag the event. 
and the time shifting tool, which you can get by double clicking on the one button, is by default inactive in the tool modifiers. I can determine a button of my own here, so I'll press on the rectangle above the assign, hold shift and press assign. Now go back to the main screen, return the mouse to the original form, and by going to the right side and holding on shift, I can stretch it like I do in the time stretching tool. Next is the splitting tool. If we're switching to the split mode, which are the scissors, holding alt after let's say a quarter and pressing will split constantly afterwards the exact amount we split it from the beginning of the event. While using the time warp tool, which allows us to change the tempo, Holding shift while dragging will change the last point made without creating a new one. As for the alt here, I'm not sure exactly what it does, so if you know, leave a comment. And finally the trim tool, which you can only use in the MIDI edit screen. This is the knife that allows you to do cuts based on lines you're drawing. Holding control will keep the line straight and allows you to cut several notes in a specific spot. Or using the alt will let you cut from the beginning instead of the end. These are all the different types of combinations you can use in the Cubase main window. As you saw before, we can change and manipulate the buttons to make them work as we like. Some other tricks that are not written down in the preferences, hold control and while hovering above this block here, scroll up or down to change the colors quickly. Works the same from here. You can also hold down shift and scroll or drag any parameter to control it a bit more precisely. You can also hold alt and while pressing on the inserts, equalizers, sands, whatever, you will reset the parameters back to the default. You can also open all the inserts in one click by holding alt, shift and pressing on the little E right here on the top. If you want to close all of them, hold Ctrl, Shift and click on the E. If there's a track like an effects track for example that you want to keep on solo all the time, you can hold Ctrl, Alt and press on the solo button in order to make it work on solo all the time. A lot to remember so make sure you wrote everything down and don't forget that practice makes perfect. See you next time, until then, keep making awesome music.